exclusive. Stephen Hawking's five mind-blowing forecasts for the future. Prepare for a paradigm shift. From catastrophic climate change to an alien invasion, the theoretical physicists' thoughts about what might lie ahead were far from optimistic. A brilliant astronomer who inspired and astounded, Stephen Hawking advanced our knowledge of, interest in, and enthusiasm for the universe around us. He got us laughing, he piqued our interest, and he got us daydreaming. But he also, at times, made us afraid. AI Takeover In an interview, Hawking stated that progress on artificial intelligence research must be made while also being aware of its very real hazards. I worry that AI might completely subplant humans. If individuals create computer viruses, someone will create self-replicating artificial intelligence. This new type of life will function better than humans. As artificial intelligence permeates more of our daily lives, Stephen Hawking isn't the only one to fear a robot takeover. But at the same time, there are other threats. Hawking warned at a technology conference in Lisbon, Portugal, that AI could be the worst thing ever to happen to humanity, because what an AI can learn is infinite. Hawking reasoned that it could eventually catch up to the limits of the human brain and surpass us. Hawking once stated that creating effective AI could be the biggest event in the history of our civilization or the worst. We are unable to predict whether AI will essentially help us indefinitely, disregard us and push us aside, or even destroy us. Hawking also said that he feared AI would replace humans altogether, a concern he had in common with Elon Musk. Accordingly, the two men endorsed a list of 23 principles they feel should steer AI development in February of 2017. Hawking predicted that our time on Earth would end. During his work with Breakthrough Starshot, Hawking asserted that within the next 1,000 or 10,000 years, humans living on interstellar colonies would be absolute certainty. Earth, he predicted, was in danger of experiencing astronomical events like asteroids and supernovas. To survive as a species, he declared in April of 2016, we must ultimately spread to the stars. Hawking expressed his pessimism in this way in 2016 at a gathering at Cambridge University, attributing some of it to the recent vote by the United Kingdom to leave the European Union. In a 2017 documentary, he stated that instead of the 1,000 years he had projected the year before, humanity only had a century remaining on Earth. This wasn't a one-time prediction from Hawking either. At the Starmus Festival in June 2017, he declared that humans needed to prepare for a departure off the planet sometime within the next 200 to 500 years. Quote, we are running out of space and the only place we can go are to other worlds. End quote. Hawking told a crowd in Trondheim, Norway, it is time to explore other solar systems. Spreading out may be the only thing that saves us from ourselves. Planetary Colonization At a festival in Norway, Hawking declared, If humanity is to survive for another million years, our future lies in boldly going where no one has gone before. The only destinations left are distant worlds because our available space is running out. Now is the time to investigate different solar systems, he said. The only thing that might possibly save us from ourselves is to spread out. I firmly believe that mankind must depart from Earth. I hope it will bring together competitive nations around a shared issue that we can all face. A brand new ambitious space program would pique young people's attention and encourage study in fields like astrophysics and cosmology. He outlined an extensive list of criteria, including the requirement that countries send personnel to the moon by 2020 and establish a lunar outpost during the following 30 years, and by 2025, 
we should reach Mars. If Hawking was even remotely right, Musk had better hop to it. Hawking predicted climate change could ravage Earth. Hawking joined many scientists in his assertion that climate change could spell out the end of our planet, but it's on this topic that he struck a relatively more hopeful tone. Sure, climate change could kill us all, but that doesn't necessarily mean it will kill us all. Hawking told BBC News that we were close to the tipping point where global warming becomes irreversible. One of the greatest threats we face is climate change, which we can stop if we take immediate action. Hawking argued that world leaders like President Donald Trump, of whom he was no fan, would need to stick to the rules laid out by the Paris Agreement to move away from this tipping point. According to Hawking, we weren't at doomsday yet, and it's up to our actions and ingenuity to keep it that way. Venus is the second closest planet to the sun, and as far as scientists are concerned, life there is impossible. Hawking also predicted that humanity's natural greed would impede us from being able to address global warming properly, and that our best bet is to leave Earth completely. Hawking also had concerns about climate change, which were amplified by the election of Donald Trump as president in 2016. Hawking told BBC News that Trump's decision to withdraw from the Paris Agreement could push the Earth over the edge to become like Venus, with a temperature of 250 degrees Celsius and raining sulfuric acid. Hawking predicted meeting aliens will be bad news. Hawking believed that when humans inevitably met aliens, we should run. That dread came less from an idea that aliens will be inherently bad and more from his observations of humans. Much like Christopher Columbus triggered chaos in his coming to the Americas, colonizing aliens would also bring turmoil to our proverbial shores. We only have to look at ourselves to see how intelligent life might develop into something we wouldn't want to meet, Hawking told the Times of London in 2010. I imagine they may exist in massive ships, having used up all their resources from their home planet. Such advanced aliens should perhaps become nomads, looking to conquer and colonize whatever planets they can reach. He also believed that there might be negative consequences if we made contact with extraterrestrials. He said on the Discovery Channel in 2010 that if aliens visit us, the outcome would be much as when Columbus landed in America, which did not turn out well for the Native Americans. Hawking never said this alien invasion would happen anytime soon, despite his concerns about a hostile alien civilization. In April of 2016, he explained at a conference for the space exploration project Breakthrough Starshot that the next 20 years, at least, will likely be alien-free. The probability of finding alien life is low. Probably. Hawking told the crowd. However, the Kepler mission's findings imply that our galaxy alone contains billions of habitable planets. Since the visible universe contains at least 100 billion galaxies, it's likely there are more. What are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed today's video and found it interesting, then make sure to leave us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click on that bell icon to always be updated with the most exciting content as soon as it's uploaded. Thanks for watching. See you in another video.